the regulatory science strategy to 2025 was uh, it was probably the most comprehensive reflection that we've done as an agency. We got massive streams of input both from healthcare professionals, from patient groups, from academia and indeed from other EU institutions and national competent authorities. And all of that has allowed us then to converge on what are seen as the most significant changes we could make as a system over the next five years that would deliver real value to improve the regulation of medicines in Europe. <music> Reflecting on how we're going to engage with the various challenges that the new science and technology uh, present, not just us in, in Europe, but globally in, in terms of drug regulation. We realise that uh, our current organisation would need to be modified in order to meet the challenge. And this then has led the executive director to reflect on the need to future-proof the agency. And the primary um, outcome of that has been a consolidation of the human resources in a, in a sort of uh, consolidated human division to focus on delivering needed change in, in, in maintaining and improving the core business. And in addition, the constitution of four task forces that have at right at their heart of, of their origin is to deliver the changes needed on one or more of the key strategic areas of the regulatory science strategy. This regulatory science reflection is not a standalone exercise. Part of its delivery will have to be delivered taken together with our network partners and there is a higher level strategic reflection going on called the Network 2025 strategy that we're very actively putting together uh, with our network partners, the heads of agencies, the national competent authorities and that in itself will also be influenced by some of the strategic thinking coming out of the European Commission. So that's sort of one stream. Another stream, having finalised our strategy, where that goes to in terms of us implementing it, it goes into our multi-annual work programmes of the European Medicines Agency and cascades down nicely through the committee work plans, annual work plans and even the working party work plans. So taken together, that will deliver the strategic ambition.